So there you go. So there's a map of the United States. Let's go see how I build it in five minutes of time with only 221 pieces from a classic pick. Let's jump right into it. So the US map, how are we gonna build that in five minutes time with 221 pieces? I don't know, but let's go put five minutes on the clock and see what we can do to build a a map. Um, interesting. Not sure how we're gonna do this. <clears throat> we're gonna need a lot of these pieces. That's for sure. Uh, down here. Uh, maybe something like this up here. We need something for Florida down here. Okay. And that's Florida. Okay. Then we need the main part here. It's in the middle. Okay. And we're going to have purple on top of that. We'll just stagger it one so that it comes out a little bit better. Okay, so then I mean like that. Then underneath that do this. in the shape then we need to come in just one more layer before we put that on then the red on top of here <coughs> then an indent with the Great Lakes Now this isn't actually how it works. Um, Maine is actually not the tallest part of the of the country. It's not the most northern part of the country. They actually, there's a little peninsula on top of um, Minnesota here that actually sticks out above. But everybody thinks that it goes up. Um, that's how everybody draws it. But it's not technically correct. But that's okay. Texas goes down like that. I like that it stands up now. And Florida goes down like that. So I think we need. Hmm. There we go. How about that? Is that a map of the US? Hmm. Need something over here. Does that look better? Yeah, actually. So here's the Gulf, Co Gulf Coast. You got the eastern border here. We got the Great Lakes being represented with this notch out. Actually, let's try something different than this piece here. So those are the Great Lakes, right, sticking up. Actually, we'll just reverse it. There you go. Hey, that's not bad. For only having 220 pieces and various different colors, 
Um, I think that works. I think that looks like the United States. Now, I'm not doing Alaska and Hawaii. Maybe I should. What do you think? Maybe we should add Alaska and Hawaii. Now, Alaska is actually very large in comparison to the country. Um, it sticks out quite a bit down here. So we're past time, I think. But let's just give it another minute or so. Yeah, actually sticks down this way too. So there's Alaska and size representative, it's actually pretty close because it's bigger than, I think it's taller than a lot, uh, California from south to north. So there's Alaska and then here's Hawaii. Some dots, big island. And little islands. And there you got Hawaii, Alaska, and the United States. The continental United States, that is. Let's zoom back a little. Yeah, so there you go. So there's a map of the United States. It's not per how they vote or anything. I mean, pink is right across that middle like that. So you got Florida down here. You got the Northeast up here. Again, it's not technically correct because Maine is actually lower than the, the peak of Minnesota. And then you got the Great Lakes sticking into the country up here. And then you got California, Oregon and Washington, and then you got Texas coming out the bottom. Now, Texas doesn't go to a point. I don't have a piece. I could switch it out and put a piece in there that makes that look better, but um, I like it standing up. It allows it to give a more uh, better dynamic to the piece. So having it uh, look like that, I think looks pretty good. If you think this, if you, if you like this build, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. And leave a comment as to how you think you would have done it better. Also, if you want to see more of these five minute tutorials, subscribe down below. We got a whole bank of them and we release a new one each and every day around 7 a.m. So thanks everybody for watching and let's go spin the wheel to see what we're going to build tomorrow. That was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel for tomorrow's five minute challenge. So this whole week we're doing election items and it's a donkey. So that's the Democratic Party symbol. So it's the donkey. So we're gonna build a donkey and see how we're gonna do that. So tune in tomorrow for the Democratic donkey. <laughs>